Hey everyone, this is Wei and welcome back. Let's do uh, something really easy and fun and I'm going to show you how to shade this panda really quickly. So let's get started and we'll talk about the process along the way. Alright, so let's draw this cute little panda. Um, I'm just going to start out with the eyes right here. Uh, so it's quite simple, so I don't have to go in too much, but I'm just going to block in these little, two little patches for the eyes. And then we're going to draw the little eyeballs in there. And then, all right, let's let's just block in the nose and the lip here. Let's see. All right, let's block in. Since we're blocking in, let's do another ear right here, right around here. And then here is its head. And let's just start from there um, without blocking in too much the other stuff. All right, so it's really easy to shade this kind of stuff because there's a you know, the fur has a certain direction, so I'm going to try to use the strokes to to help the direction of the fur just by... So if you look at the reference, see how, where, which direction it's going, and then just kind of shade that way. Okay, and then right here, it's dark. So I'm going to draw in the eyeballs. Let's see, I'm going to make this part dark. Just a little bit of lighting, all right. So something like that, okay. I can I can ref, keep refining it, and but when you shade, just kind of keep in the same direction as the as the fur direction, and that will help you because you know your your pencil is is natural, you know, to have that kind of tailing, tapering end, so it, it creates the illusion of fur, so that way it's, a, it's very uh, easy to to shade fur. Okay, so here's the eyes. I'm gonna shade fur again. Let's go. Going out. Right here's a little bit tighter. So once you get the edges, you know, where it comes off, then you can go in and just shade actually whatever direction you want. But I'm still just gonna kinda keep it the same direction, just so that you know it just adds more to the effect, right? And then here's the, the nose. This is just very standard. Okay, I'll make it dark since it is. And then, let's see, the mouth. This is a line, but again, we can actually do a little bit of shading like this. Instead of doing a line, we can actually shade it in the direction. And then the bottom right spot somewhere right here, and that's darker too. All right, so but let's skip on to uh, some of this part, so we can do this here. All right, let's do the other dark patches first, because. I think that's a little bit easier to see and it's better to illustrate. All right, the ear, so you can, so I can go this way or I can go this way. Uh, if, you, if you go this way, you get a, like a slightly tapered end, you know, and sometimes it works. Well, either way, all right, let's just go. This goes out. All right, I'm trying to turn myself so I don't get in front of the camera, so. If you see me in weird positions, that's because I'm trying to keep my head off the camera over the top. All right, here, let's see. Okay, this is tighter here, darker here. We can go like this. All right, so that's one ear. Let's do the other one. Again, we can go this way or that way, either way, but just follow the kind of try to follow the direction. So it goes fairly quickly. I mean, this is just really good for uh, if you're drawing animals and you know any anything with fur. Basically, it works great because it's very uh, quick. It's very loose. You're not pulling, going too crazy with the hair. You don't want to anyway, unless you want to do that kind of drawing, which is fine. All right, so let's do another patch right here. So. I'm just gonna outline, let's see. This looks like it's paws right here, like something like that. It's kind of hard to tell, but it's all black. So this is all black right here. And then the first gonna come out, all right? And then let's see, there's another. Let's outline the other patch too. So we can actually, say, let's go up. Outline that, kind of like that. And then his legs, his leg, hind leg is right here. 
And then let's see, it's on the branch. Oh, let me push this up, sorry about that. So the branch is kind of like this, comes over and then comes straight at you. Now when, and the branch, you see how it's coming away? I mean, sometimes this doing this, these kind of lines will help, you know, because it's, it's kind of like contour lines and it does help to uh, visualize the branch coming out this way. So anyhow, let's go, all right, let's, let's go back to this. We can, all right, so here's the outline for the face. So by shading this, you know, all of a sudden now you have uh, the furs on, the, on, on his cheeks coming out, right? So that's, that's the cool part about shading this way for the furs is kind of hitting, hitting two edges at the same time. Okay, so let's go, this is a larger area, so I'm, I'm gonna work on the edge first. Okay, and then this foot is fairly dark. Looks like there's something going on in there, but anyhow, it's too hard to see, so Let's just keep going. Trying to keep the same direction. Okay, and then right on. Now this part here needs to be darker because it's, um, it's to help. There's more contrast between the cheeks, you know, the, the, the face hair to the body. So it, because it goes from black to white. So it helps. If you make this edge darker, it will help the, the cheek come up more. And if you look at the reference, it is kind of like that too. And, it might be the same color you know, because it is, I mean, the same tone. But because there's more contrast, we perceive it as darker. Okay, so let's see how's that looking in camera. All right, so it's, it's a little sparse, right? I mean, so it just takes a little bit more time. You can actually go in and do a little bit more because the those original hatching lines are kind of sparse. So we can always just go in and fill it up a little bit. Okay, and now uh, there's variations in here. Like, I think this part's a little bit darker because, you know, there, it's not just flat. It's not like a fur ball. There is stuff going on. That's why there's variations of darkness. So we can, we can hit that later, uh, like here, you know. Well, yeah, we can do the little cheeks here. And then even here, it's a little bit darker here. So let's do, well, let's finish up the back. So this part here is dark. This is a little bit harder. So now the focus too. All right, so we can do this. And then this part in here is much darker. Now I, I'm using a 6B uh, Steeler graphite pencil. So it's very dark, very soft very fast, which is what I love about it. So if you want to draw fast and be able to shade quickly, just go with a darker pencil, you know, great for sketching. All right, I'm gonna turning, turning my edge, get a little bit sharper edge, that way I can get, I guess, finer hair on, on the panda. Okay, so that, and this part is darker here, underneath there's slightly darker, All right? And then let's do a little bit more hair right here. Tighten this up a little bit. Okay, very dark. This looks like he's biting onto something, but let's just skip that. Okay, so so now it looks kind of looks like a like a porcupine actually, but you know it's just a matter of if you go in more and then put in a little bit more shading, you know, your things will even out. Because right now it's still very sparse. You see the hair? Okay. So I'm just shading that. I'm just outlining here and let's do, oh, just one more part here. Let's see. We got this other hand. It's important to put in because you'll bring out the cheek. Okay, and then here's the stump. Cute little panda. It's kind of fun doing these furs once in a while. Trying to mix it up. Can't always do one thing all the time. You gotta push yourself out of comfort zone. All right, so now um, 
So that gives the overall, I mean, that looks kind of cute. Right now, <laughs> we can go in and actually put in more shading so that we can really bring out the shapes more. Yeah. So, I mean, I think, I think you get the idea. Uh, it's just, you know, this kind of shading, nothing too fancy. Just kind of keep it with the direction of the fur. And the amount of details you want is really up to you. Um, so apart, I might continue this off screen a little bit just so I can maybe add a little bit more detail, keep going and uh, see how far I can push this. Probably not too much because it is just a quick sketch kind of for fun and hopefully I can show you something new. And actually for me to learn something new as well. So goes both ways. It's nothing better than just practicing drawing. Okay, so I think you got the idea. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll push this further. I think that might be a cool little drawing at the end. All right, so I'll be right back and show you how it looks. All right, I'm back and here's the final drawing for this cute little panda. And I, what I did was I basically went in a little bit harder uh, just to redefine the edges a little bit better, you know, a little bit more contrast, make it a little bit tighter so that, you know, you can see this, uh, this fur a little bit better. And yeah, the background, well, underneath, you know, the log, not much going on there. Now, another thing I've um, done is, you know, because this is white and it's going on against white paper, so it gets, you know, the edges gets lost here unless, unless I do this kind of stuff. So in order to enhance this to make this feel, you know, nice and fluffy, I just kind of darkened the background, you know, the same way I was doing the, uh, the hair and a little bit of cross hatching. So little things like this really helps to anchor the drawing, you know, it, it puts the uh, panda in place and also it creates an effect for the fur. So I guess uh, there's two, two good things about it. So I think overall this is a really fun uh, little drawing and I think it came out cute. So I'm going to call this done. So I hope you guys tried out this kind of uh, shading technique. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time.